Good afternoon, this is Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities, and today it's time to introduce you to the 2024 Alliance Delta. This is model number 262RB. And again, this presentation comes to you compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, there's a lot of little things, and so to cover a lot of little things, I'm gonna have to go a little bit fast here, so you know, pardon me if I sound a little bit like an auctioneer or something. Okay, twin 20 pound tanks and the easy access top cover carrier. Here's your tongue jack with the docking light on there. You've got the battery in the battery box right behind it. Okay, up on the top, we've got a 200 watt solar panel on there. And let's start covering things in here. Good pass through storage there with the tools and all such in there. Pass through slug underneath. Now, you do have hot and cold spray ports all around on here, not just right here on the shower side, but you adjust the temperature here, and you can adjust the temperature hot, cold, or in between on all of the spray ports throughout the unit. Water pump switch is outside here. Hey, and I left the utility bay open here because this is one of the metered things. Easy access, quick, easy way to get to your water pump for winterization or what have you. You just spring shut that, and it'll keep shut for you. This is your motion activated lights there. Here is a battery cutoff switch. You've got black tank flush on here. The slide out switch here is right beside, right off right there. You can control it inside or outside. This is cool because you can control that slide out right here when you're worried about your clearance between say the tree or the power pedestal or the neighbor's unit, whatever. You can monitor that right from the outside while you're running your slide outs. All right, here we've got, below which we've got our coaxial connections on there. The water pump switch is also on the outside or the inside, controllable either way. And here we have our switch where you can select between tank fill or city water use, etc. Okay, there's the camp shower apparatus right on there down underneath there goodyear endurance tires on there and that's a fully sealed underbelly with it's a heated enclosed underbelly additional storage on here something that you don't find on some travel trailers open that up and you can kind of see it's a long pocket in here think tent poles think about well, maybe your cord or maybe longer items that you would want to put perhaps in a vertical pocket well this horizontal pocket will just cover it very nicely for a traditional pull travel trailer. Again, Goodyear Endurance tires. These are with reinforced brackets on the suspension. They have those little V reinforcements underneath there for extra rugged suspension longevity of your running gear. All right, here's your crank down stabilizer jacks. That is also the, uh, right down here is where you've got your sewer connection. 50 amp electric service, 50 amp electric service. Now imagine that on a unit this size and that that is really something to say for that, we have slide out toppers installed on this particular unit. That's an option that is available. This particular one has the slide out toppers included on there. Here is a class three trailer hitch on the back. That's an accessory hitch. All right, all LED lighting across here. Now this ladder is really something else. This is remarkable. This is super duper solid. That's steel we're pounding on. Notice it's not given anywhere. And they even talk about that climb and dry. Believe it or not, it sounds kind of silly, but it works really well to hang laundry or what have you, towels on there, whatever you want to hang out on there. Now here's one of your spray ports that we talked about. We can select hot, cold, warm, in between, right on your spray port. That is a really cool, unique thing on these units. Okay, over here, we have some tight cramped quarters here, so I did not put the uh, awning all the way out but you know what an awning is like, no big deal on that. Here's your solid piece, solid step uh, staircase with the D-assist swing out handle on there. LED lighting right underneath this gloriously long uh, awning, 12 volt deployed awning on there. Now, this is cool. I call this the grill dole. Grill dole, grill, griddle, grill dole. <laughs> Well, okay, you got the best of both worlds. It slides right in there into a small, easy pocket there by Greystone. And over to here, we have on-demand water heat. Never-ending water heat supply on there. All right, back over to here, we have a table. Table storage underneath there, and there's a motion-activated lighting that just comes right on. Again, exterior or interior, in this case, exterior awning switch. So you can monitor that awning as you're deploying that. 
you're not stuck using a switch somewhere on the inside guessing if it's going to hit the tree or just where it's going. Nope, you know exactly where it's going. Another hot cold spray port. Look at the abundance of spray ports on here. USB on there as well as your exterior coax connections for adding your campsite TV on there. How cool is that? <laughs> it's way cool. So many neat things. PVC roofing on the top. PVC roof. And let's go on to the interior. With another reminder, this presentation is coming to you by way of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Safety equipment right there with your fire extinguisher. Up the solid piece staircase to the interior. This is cool because it's backlit. I kind of like that. What if we shut off the lights in here and just kind of, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Well, it's kind of a neat little accent. These are the little things, right? Okay, but little things are going to add up. You're going to see. We've just begun with all the neat stuff in here. Let's start off with everyone's favorite room. Yeah, the Biffy, the John, the Can, the Lou, the, never mind. Soft closed toilet lid on that too. Well, soft closed if you take it from up here, there. Then it's gonna be soft all the way down. All right, now you got the idea. Nice generous lavatory on here for a unit of this size. Here's your hot water heater control on there as well. Now, these cabinets, this is way cool, and you're going to find this everywhere. Go and shut it like that. It closes nice and slow and easy. It's not a slam. And the vent, don't forget the vent. Disappearing shower door on there. Let's go on out here to the main room. This is a huge super slide. This is a really generous super slide. And, well, here we go. Taller slide room. Yeah, I'm not going to be thwacking my head on that fascia along the top there because it's nice and tall. Theater seats right here where you would expect them with USBs as well as the uh, controls underneath there. Uh, you have the, uh, speaking of USB, you have a USB port right up right there. All right, this is the convertible dinette where you can sleep an additional two people on there bringing up your sleeping capacity. On this particular floor plan to four people and Let's continue on over to here. Now this is cool too. Here we got your 40 inch flat screen HD TV. That's a smart TV. And well, it's a smart brand on the TV too. But oh, just wait, there's more. Of course there's more, there's always more. Let's bring it out here and show you what more we're talking about. Look at this behind the TV. You've got cubbies for storage. Yeah, I know they're not real huge, but hey, that's big enough to put in some of the important things that you want to store in there. Maybe if you've got some additional things that the kids want in there, or um, I don't know if you get, care to carry along some DVDs or what have you not. There's your coax connections that go along with that in there. We're going to slide that back into place behind here, push it back in. All right, so that we can continue on. And look at this generous storage in here. And these are pull-out drawers on here too, so this is way cool. Kind of looks better there back out a little bit and show you these are drawers on there and there's one and there's one down below here too and i shut the thing and soft touch close how cool is that can't beat that 10 cubic foot furion dc refrigerator freezer above on that there coleman mock on the air conditioning system one of two yeah you got the 50 amp service so why not we have the second air conditioner on these units as well that is an option that is on this particular unit so inquire about that one that is an option to have the second ac unit you have the 50 amp service like i say why not here's your microwave exterior ducted and vented range hood it's not a recirculator but it leads to the outside range top high output fury on three burner range top with a cover you know the drill on that oven with the light in there and generous countertop again for a unit with this floor print, uh, this floor print with the nah, with this reduced size, smaller length travel trailer, mid size, of course, uh, generous amount of countertop plus the countertop extension in here, recessed mounted uh, farm style sink. That's a deep sink. That's stainless steel. Recessed mounted means it's going to be easier to keep clean. Spray attachment on the nozzle on the sink. Now. A lot of the neat things that are going on in these Alliance RVs, well, like I said, they're the little things, but they are starting to add up. We've got all kinds of neat things there. Those are soft touch on the drawers. We're going to pull this open here and show you. That's a tip-out trasher. Way cool for that. And again, I just can't get enough of the cabinetry here because you just give it a push and it'll gently close for you. That is so cool. 
Uh, a lot of the neat things are going on behind, behind the walls. We have color-coded wiring throughout this so that it'd be very easy should you ever down the road, and most RVs eventually need a little bit of servicing, right? Let's be honest about it. But how easy is it to service it when you know which circuit you're dealing with? Each and every 12-volt circuit is a different color. They're color-coded throughout. They're very easy to trace them when you're tracing them back to the electrical source. Super-duper easy to do your electrical work. Likewise, what if you're having plumbing trouble? Wah! Major plumbing fixtures have an individual shutoff underneath there. I'm not going to crawl underneath and show you, but take my word for it. The sticker's there for a reason. You have individual shutoffs on all plumbing fixtures. Makes fixing things just a snap. Here's your thermostat. That's going to be for the forward air conditioning unit and the furnace. On into the bedroom with an egress window there. Now, we've got the simple touch the two touch lights there one touch night light second touch reading light and the third time it's nighty night time usbs on both sides of the bed on there as well as lighting controls oops i forgot to turn on the overhead reading lights if you can forgive me that here we've got hidden storage in underneath here so that's a neat place to store things and these are poured countertops solid surface poured countertops epoxied very neat storage here again Shut the drawer, click, soft touch drawers all around. These are really neat. I just love the woodworking in here. And up on the roof, here's your second. That's the option. Remember, this is an option of this particular unit I'm demonstrating, optional AC unit. And that's with the wall thermostat. That's not just ceiling controlled, but with the true wall thermostat for better results. And over to here is where you put your TV. It's backed for the use of a TV. Way cool. Don't forget on the roof then, you've got that 200-watt uh, solar panel that's with the 40-amp uh, solar charge controller built in there. So you're equipped, you're good to go all around on here. Okay, wow, I think we've covered just about everything I can think of. There's even more. I mean, well, hey, there's no floor vents. Notice, absence of floor vents. That is clever engineering, and especially on a travel trailer. On a fifth wheel, yeah, maybe not such a big deal, but here on a travel trailer, you've got it. Well, a matter of fact, there it says right there, no floor mat. Well, there you got it. Accent lights down underneath, round out things down along the floor. Okay, I think I'm pretty exhausted now. How about you? Sorry, it sounded like an auction, but wanted to cover a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. There you got it. That's the best I can do for you. This is Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities wishing you... Happy trails. We will see you around.